Oscar, great to have you back in Melbourne. Yes, nice to be back. How does it feel to be knowing that you'll be racing on this track? Yeah, it's a really, really special feeling. Like I'm a Melbourne boy and grew up about 15 minutes away from, from Melbourne Park, so you can't really get much more of a home race than that. Where does your passion for motorsport come from? It's in my family, especially on my dad's side of the family. I've always sort of watched motorsport and my dad's business is in the, the automotive industry, so I think it's sort of just run down the family, but also you know, I, I, I like my sports in general, especially when I was a little kid. I played all sorts of sports. I actually raced remote control cars first, um, and then went into go-karts from there, and, and yet, it, you know, I really like going fast, but I also really like just trying to, to win and improve and yeah. the, the competitiveness. Um, yeah. So that's really where my love of, of motorsport came through. How do you prepare for, well, this track, which you probably know very well being a Melbourne boy, but also yeah. any track, like what sort of process do you go through? Pretty much all of the tracks we would do either a day or, or a couple of days in the simulator back in the factory. So that's sort of the main preparation because we can't we can't do any testing. So Albert Park is uh, my home race, but I've yeah. never driven a race car around here before. So um, yeah, I'll be in the simulator for a day or two, trying to, to learn as much as I can in yeah. the virtual world. And then um, and then yeah, we've got three practice sessions to, to try and really pick it up in real life. So yeah. it's, I was able to learn a bit last year um, being a reserve driver, but there's, there's unfortunately no substitute for doing laps. So yeah. you've got to be uh, on your toes and, and ready to go as soon as you jump in the car. Well, in terms of this track, do you have a, a favourite section? Uh, I'm really looking forward to the chicane in the back straight. So oh, the yeah. really quick yeah. one. Yeah, it just looks fast. I mean, a lot of the fast corners are the the ones that, as racing drivers, we like, and it's where the F1 cars excel. Yeah. Um, so that yeah, high speed chicane is the section I'm really looking forward to. But I think the the whole track, you know, I'm, I'm excited to, to get out there and, and see what it's all about. Yeah. How do you weigh up the risk versus reward in, in a situation? I think you know when you're a racing driver and sort of you've got the helmet on, you're ready to go. You're not thinking about uh, crashing or, or the fear or anything like that. Um, I think it usually only kicks in once something goes wrong on track and you're heading towards a wall or something like that. But you know it is something you have to manage, and, and you know that's sort of the the art of going racing is pushing to the limit without overstepping it. And no doubt we all overstep it every once in a while. So it's it's tricky, but yeah, certainly um, I think that's what makes a good racing driver. You know, being able to exploit the limits without uh, that going over. We're going a nice steady 40 k's here. How, yeah. how badly do you want to just step the foot to the floor and give it some? Yeah, it's it would be nice. It would be nice. Um, but yeah, well, very safe citizen on the road, yes, I would yeah. say. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll have my chance to uh, get out in my F1 car and. and really yeah. Oscar, it's been an absolute pleasure. Really looking forward to seeing you race. Thank it's great you. to have a Melbourneian representing. Yes, well. yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, nice to have you guys on board.